Now to Minneapolis, where testimony in Derek Chauvin's trial will resume this morning. Yesterday, the court watched new police body camera video of George Floyd's arrest and heard more emotional testimony from witnesses. One person who took to the stand is an employee of the store Floyd visited, where it was alleged that he may have paid for cigarettes with a counterfeit $20 bill. Skylar Henry joins us now from Minneapolis with more. Skylar, what can you tell us about yesterday's testimony? Hey, Anne Marie, good morning. Well, it was another emotional day inside of the courtroom, perhaps one of the more stirring moments hearing from Charles McMillan, who was a bystander that day on 38th in Chicago and watched the incident unfold between Derek Chauvin and George Floyd. The 61 year old was there. He perhaps was one of the last people to speak to George Floyd while he was alive, telling George to stop resisting and Floyd responded back. He wasn't. Jurors in the Derek Chauvin trial watched video of George Floyd being restrained by police shortly before his death. I am a claustrophobic. Parts of the body camera recordings had not been seen publicly before, including one which Chauvin reacts to what happened to Floyd. He's going to control this guy because he's a sizable guy. Yeah, and I tried to, I tried to get, like, get in the car. It looks like he's do. probably on something. Chauvin made that comment after being confronted at the scene by a witness who would urge Floyd to comply with the officers. Charles McMillan wept as he relived the moment in court. Another witness worked at the store where Floyd had just paid with an allegedly counterfeit $20 bill. It kind of took him a little long to get to what he was trying to say, so it would appear that he was high. Here in the city of Minneapolis, the Chauvin trial looms large, especially over at the neighborhood where Floyd was arrested last Memorial Day. Cedric Steele operates a restaurant down the block from Cub Foods. He says the trial has commanded his attention since the start. George Floyd, it's all of us, you know what I mean? And uh, it's just not just Minnesota, it's the, it's the whole world. It, it, it affected the whole world. So, um, yes, sir, I definitely will want justice, you know. Today, prosecutors are expected to question investigators about technical aspects of the case. Now, another note about yesterday, a juror had to step out of the courtroom for a moment after the new testimony and the uh, emotional uh, evidence that we saw there. She said that she had a, uh, a quick reaction to what she was seeing. She hadn't had much sleep, but that she was able to be back as a juror. Anne-Marie. Well, that's good news. Uh, Skylar, you mentioned uh, technical information. Who's going to testify today? What sort of information yeah. will uh, attorneys be looking for? Right, well, we wrapped up yesterday hearing from one lieutenant with the Minneapolis Police Department and actually spoke to not only uh, surveillance video around the city, uh, but also the body camera footage that we saw, that never before body camera uh, footage that we saw yesterday. So we are expected to hear from more experts like that speaking to just the technical aspects of this case. We do know that at some point, both the prosecution and the defense are interested in hearing from medical experts because remember this, Anne Marie. Both lawyers on both sides want to show that it was how Derek Chauv or how George Floyd died uh, that it will be the apex of this trial. Yes, yeah, certainly, Skyler. Thank you so much. So. Later on this hour, attorney Jesse Weber is going to be joining us to offer legal insight into the trial. That's going to happen at around 7.25 a.m. Eastern. 